The electricity industry is changing. Electric vehicles, home energy management software, batteries and solar panels are all giving consumers greater choice about how they use electricity and where they get it from. The Electricity Authority wants to make sure that household, commercial and industrial consumers all enjoy the benefits of this greater choice. Consumers will be able to participate directly in the electricity sector, perhaps by selling electricity to their neighbours, or consumers will be able to participate indirectly, perhaps by allowing an intermediary to manage their heat pump to support the local network. We want to make sure that the rules underpinning the electricity sector do not put in place unnecessary barriers to more participation. We have three areas of focus. We are looking at how parties get access to services and particularly at whether they can easily form the relationships necessary to buy and sell electricity services. We are looking at access to and exchange of data. And we are looking at pricing and particularly at whether prices reflect the services provided and the cost of delivering those services. We have work underway in each of the three areas. We have found it helpful to present the three areas in the context of the infrastructure used to provide the services, the market platforms, and the consumers and the suppliers. Transmission and distribution provide the infrastructure for the exchange of electricity services. We work closely with the Commerce Commission on evolving the rules for access to the infrastructure. It is part of our role as market regulator and theirs as monopoly regulator. The market platform allows parties to buy and sell electricity through the wholesale and retail electricity markets. In the middle are the consumers and suppliers of electricity and electricity services. In some cases, the consumer is also a supplier. Consumers and suppliers' ability to participate depends on their ability to get access to services. For example, a retailer needs access to the infrastructure and the distribution service and the market platforms and the wholesale market to be able to sell electricity to end consumers. We have several projects looking at barriers to accessing services, such as the Equal Access and Default Distributor Agreement projects. A particular focus is the relationship between distributors and parties using the distribution network. This is for the simple reason that most of the changes to the sector are occurring at the consumer and distribution level. Data is exchanged between participants across the supply chain. It is important, therefore, that data is exchanged, used and stored in a way which makes it easy for all parties to participate, whilst also protecting privacy and security. The Multiple Trading Relationships Project is examining concerns relating to possible barriers to parties to provide services to consumers, such as obtaining data. Price provides valuable information to help people make decisions, such as about the cheapest time to consume electricity or whether investing in a battery is a good idea. We want to make sure prices are both efficient and accurate. Efficient prices provide the best possible information about the cost and value of using a service. Accurate prices build confidence. Our distribution pricing project is about encouraging distributors to adopt prices which provide parties using the distribution network with the best possible information about the value and cost of using the network at a particular time and place. We think the New Zealand electricity sector is really well placed for consumers to enjoy the benefits of the exciting changes occurring about us now. Existing suppliers are developing new products and services. New suppliers are coming along all the time. The Electricity Authority, with the Commerce Commission, is working hard to find and reduce unnecessary barriers to more participation. We want consumers to enjoy the long-term benefits of the changes occurring about us now.